Hey guys, all right. So this is a 2014 BMW 4 Series, and I never make YouTube videos. This is my first ever video, mainly because I've been searching online everywhere, and I can't seem to find a guide for the 2014 onwards for BMW 4 Series cigarette lighter fuse replacement. So my one's dead as you can see i've been using a portable charger to you know power up my phone charge my phone and that while i'm driving so now i finally got a chance to replace the fuse so i thought i'll just do a little guide for everyone who needs help like me that i've used countless of videos on youtube to replace parts of my car so i thought it's my turn to contribute now so anyway right first things first to find out where your fuse diagram and layout etc where everything is you gotta go to the boot so here's your boot what you do just grab your floor mat pull it and you've got a fuse box in the boot which has the diagrams and the fuse numbers and everything and these little pliers to get the fuse out now most cars should have these but if you don't then that means the previous owners pinched them so if you can go to a scrapyard or wherever you can find one you bet if you can get a replacement and just keep it in your box if not if you ain't got this then you can just use your long nose pliers that will do the job right so looking at this diagram I was baffled like hell as well when I first was looking for the cigarette lighter fuse but after research online I found out it's this one right it's this one so you need fuse number 66 69 and 162 so anyway just to make it short I've researched online apparently 162 is for the rear cigarette lighter or something in the boot so that's that's really irrelevant to me because I don't seem to have one so my one is 66 and 69 so this is the fuse box for in the boot so we don't need that one this is the one we need the one that's in the front under the passenger side so fuse 66 and 69 so there's 66 and 69 so they're the ones we need Okay, so let's go around to the front. Okay, so I pop the hood. Okay, so this got a little cover. I mean, I've already popped most of it off. It's really easy. You just pop this. And there's a few clips there. You just pop it off. That's it. So. Alright, so this is your fuse box. So just four clips. Alright, here we are. So, 66 and 69. Right, so, we'll make it easier. So there you go. So this is the layout. So as you can see, 66, which is there, and 69. So 66 is this big yellow fuse and 69 is this one. Just follow the layout of the diagram. Right, so I'm gonna pull out 69 first. See if the fuse is okay. Okay, fuse seems fine. So 69's okay. Pop that back in. There you go. Okay, so now 67. Right. I really hope it's this one. I really hope it's this one. Because if not, then God knows. Right, give it a firm tug. And voila. There you go. But as you can see, the fuse is gone. It's been it's popped. Okay, so, 
Alright. So my one was this one, 67. So what you do, take the old fuse out. And what I've done, because I knew it was going to be 20 amp, so I've gone to Mapkin and I've purchased these. So just replacing fuse cost £2.49. So you've got four fuses, 20 amps. So I'm just take one out. Okay, so got a fresh fuse. 20 amp. Right, so pop that in. Okay, so that's in. Right, so before I put everything back together, I'm just going to make sure that my fuse is working. Whoa, there you go. Look, see that? It's already working. It's already working. Well, I'm just saying the bonnet's open. See, look at that. Look, it's already working. Haha. <laughs> so, obviously, that's my dash cam. So, I've just wired a little dash cam. You know, it's a little cheap one for me, eBay. So, you can't see, so I'm using the phone to record anyway. So, and there's another question. Obviously, I was baffled at first when I first bought the car. I used to wonder why my cigarette light doesn't turn off after I've locked up the car. Well, I've looked online. Some people say it's 10 minutes. And some people say it's five minutes. On my car, it seems to be five minutes. So after I've locked up, parked it up, locked it up, and I've gone, after five minutes, it automatically switches off. So in a way, it's good. So I've got the dash cam running, running for an extra five minutes after I've gone home. So don't worry about that. I know, because obviously at first I thought it's going to rinse out my battery, so I should switch, switch it off. But obviously, BMW have thought of that, and, this, and it goes off automatically after five minutes. But as soon as you open the door or press a button on your remote, the car will power it back on. So, you can test it, it's quite cool. So anyway, yeah, so that's the, so that's the fuse working now, so. Here we go, that's how you replace a cigarette lighter fuse on a BMW 4 Series. Hopefully, this should help out all you 4 Series owners. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, and then what you do, just put everything back in its place. Just pop the covers back on, everything. And that's it, you're good to go. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry, I know it's a bit amateur. I'm recording on my phone, but I thought I'll try to help anybody out. Uh, these guiders because obviously I've used YouTube videos plenty of times myself to help me out when I'm in a tricky situation. So hopefully this helps someone out. Thanks guys. Bye bye.